morning everybody <laughs> yeah I'm back at Bear Brook State Park today this is a, a trip that didn't start off the way I had planned so my plan was yesterday morning I was gonna head out to uh, back up towards Musumalu back up that way and kind of got chased out of that area the last time there because of tropical storm Debbie coming up the coast so and I was directly in the path, so I ended up at Bear Brook. <clears throat> this trip <laughs> was supposed to head up there, but I, I, I had had some work interference yesterday. My my work really flared up. <laughs> so a company that I do most of my uh, uh, IT consulting work for had a problem. One 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 person there had a little bit of an issue with an internet connectivity thing. So I figured, all right, we'll come in quick quick fix before I take off. And while I was there. I guess I should have grabbed the uh, taken number thing at Market Basket Deli because uh, <laughs> everybody had problems. I ended up being there for about two hours. And while I was there, one of my other customers messaged me and said they were having problems with a printer. So after I was done uh, the one job, I had to go to the other place and deal with a printer issue. <laughs> and while I was dealing with the printer issue, the first company called me again with another issue that I had to go take care of. So I had to go back to that spot. Uh, and I had a couple other phone calls that uh, stuff I just addressed over the phone type of stuff. So it ended up being a very busy morning. And I didn't end up getting out on my trip until about 3.30 in the afternoon. Had I gone all the way up to Musumalu at that point, I would have been arriving after dark. <clears throat> Dealing with traffic and stops and everything else along the way. So I decided uh, I'm just gonna go up to Bear, well actually I was gonna go up to Mount Escotney in Vermont. But as I was getting out and dealing with the traffic on uh, Interstate 93 and that, I decided, no, I don't feel like driving all the way out to Mount Escutney at this hour. My tummy was already growling because I was hungry and everything. Wanted to go have some dinner and that, so... On the way up, I just said, said the heck with it. I'm going to Bear Brook. I'll grab a site over here for the night. <laughs> so that's where I am. And I got in so late, I didn't even bother shooting video. I just got things set up. I made a simple grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup, but it was really good. I made it on raisin bread. And I made it with uh, cheddar and mozzarella. So it was a really good sandwich. <laughs> I made it in the pie iron. I got a picture of it here, at least anyway, that I shot last night. So, anyway, today we're just, uh, as you saw, we had a quick walk over to the uh, wet, wet, wetlands area <laughs> on the uh, long, uh, I guess it's uh, Beaver Brook Trail there. So, did a quick walk over there this morning. Now we're just going to have a very quick breakfast. I just got a bowl of uh, Honey Nut Cheerios I'm going to have this morning. And then we're going to pack up and head on out. We're heading up to Vermont today instead. So actually I'm thinking I may not go to Musumulu now. I may actually stop and check out the dispersed camping area at Texas Falls. It's up in the same area, but it's free camping up that way. I've never stayed at that campsite before, so a camping area so let's let, we'll stop and check it out anyway uh, I may not be able to stay I do need cell phone service today I have some work I got to take care of this afternoon and that requires an internet connection so if the service isn't good enough for that at, uh, at uh, Texas Falls I'm probably still gonna have to head over to uh, Musumalu anyway but we're gonna stop and check it out and see what it's like see what the internet's like see uh, what the sites are like and um, yeah we'll go from there if I can stay there for free <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm going to have my breakfast here, and we'll check back in with you. Okay, so that's it. We're all packed up. Everything's back in the van. Everything's secured in the van, I hope. <laughs> and we're heading up towards Vermont. However, my first stop is actually going to be a market basket on the way. Because I need to pick up a couple things. Things I forgot to bring, get, get when I was heading out that, and I... Wanted to stop at the Walmart up in Salem, New Hampshire, but because I was running so late, I just decided to go straight to the campground here. So, well, we should be able to find what I need at, the, at a market basket. There's one right along 89 on the way up, so that's where we're going to stop. Grab a couple things, and uh, obviously pay for them, too. <laughs> and, and we're going to go out towards the Texas Falls area and see at the camping and the cell phone services like there. And If I don't like what I see, over to Moose Mulu. All right, we'll catch you guys on the road. I made it to the market basket in Warner. <laughs> uh, a lot quieter than the market baskets back home, that's for sure. All right, I'm gonna go in and find some supplies here. Ugh. 
and it was freezing in that market basket anyway. <laughs> Alright, so this is just a quick little market basket haul. Look, they still have plastic bags at this market basket. I haven't seen these in a while. Alright, so got a little jar of duck sauce. I feel like making a, a little rice dish. I got a broccoli. I meant to buy a small box of frozen broccoli before I left and forgot to, so decided, well, I don't really have much room in the fridge anyway. I'll get this. And hopefully I don't have to put it in the fridge. And I'll probably use it tonight anyway. I also bought a can of uh, a 16 ounce bottle of propane. A little I'll explain as to why I got that a little bit later. But I might need it, I might not. Better to have it than not. <laughs> so, anyway. Alright, so next stop, we head up towards the uh, rest area, use the facilities up there. And then we're going to go find ourselves a campsite. And I have to left keys in the... So I made it to Texas Falls. Unfortunately, as it turns out, there's no cell phone service here. So I won't be staying here. But we'll take a quick peek at the falls anyway. See how they're looking. I bet they're not flowing all that well because we haven't had much rain. But we'll see what we got here. They're flowing better than I thought they would be. Alright, back on the road. <laughs> I guess we're going to Musumulu again. So here I am back at Musumulu. <laughs> this time I'm at site 18. We've got a really cool fire pit here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to using this one to cook. That's going to be fun. I'm just going to be cooking a lot on that fire pit. Just so you can use it. Uh, but I'm here for two nights. So. Should be interesting. I decided, ah, the heck with I'll just pay for it. It's 15 bucks a night. Who can, you can't beat that. So, much better than the $35 I paid for the one night at uh, Bibrook State Park, so <laughs> I like it here. Bit of a drive to get here, but I like it here. <clears throat> but anyway, we got to get things set up. So camp is all set up, and now it's time to start making some dinner. Now this is a dinner I had started to develop <laughs> uh, the last time, the previous time I stayed at Bearbrook State Park, when I actually left Musumalu and headed to Bearbrook get out of the direct path of Tropical Storm Debbie. I made this dinner while I was there. Now I'm going to try to refine it a bit and show you guys what I made. because it, it came out really good. I, I liked it and I think it can even be better tonight. So <laughs> so, so this is going to be kind of a, a chicken, broccoli, cheddar, potato casserole. Alright, so for this dinner we're going to need chicken, olive oil, a russet potato, broccoli, a pepper, some shredded cheddar, and garlic salt. You also need a skillet with a cover. And put a little olive oil in the bottom of the skillet. And we'll start heating that up. Okay, while that heats up, we're going to cube up the chicken and get that ready to put in the pan. So I managed to get uh, two, a pack of two chicken breasts on sale at Market Basket for like three bucks. Well, three salt, three, three dollars and change. This recipe only needs one chicken breast. And you just kind of cut it up in cubes. I mean, it's actually easier to do this with uh, chicken strips, and the chick, chicken tenderloins, but this is cheaper. And I like cheaper. So we'll just cube this up. A little, bit, a little bit more work to cube it up, but that's okay. So I got the chicken all cubed up. The oil's plenty hot now. I'm just going to put this... Oh, that is hot. Alright. <laughs> you can hear it sizzling. So, probably should steam back a little. It's hot. <laughs> Put 
too hot. Oh, for a minute, yeah. <laughs> All right, don't get the oil that hot. Okay, so now we got the chicken a little bit more under control. We got the cutting board cleaned up. Now I'm going to cut the potato up on it. A little cleaning here first. All right, so we got the potato all cubed up, so we're going to put that in with the chicken now. back on. Now we can turn the heat up a little bit more. So next up is the broccoli I just bought today. I've never cooked with fresh broccoli like this before. I just bought the frozen cube dirty pre-cut stuff so see how this works out. <laughs> Gotta get it to cut down into smaller pieces. All chopped up. They need to be added. Be a bit too much broccoli, but I have too much than too little, right? This pan's too full. <laughs> and I've got way too much food to eat now. Oh well. well same thing with the pepper, I just gotta cut it up into cubes. This I'm not cutting the whole pepper because I need it for other dinners too. <laughs> I'm just going to use some of it like I should have done with the other stuff. <sighs> okay, so we got the uh, pepper in there now too. So we're just going to let that simmer for a while. Once all the potatoes cooked and or nearly cooked and everything, then we add the cheese and the garlic pot, salt to it. Let that cook us a little few more minutes, and we serve it up. So, see when we're just ready to add the cheese. Okay, I had to change the angle of the camera because the sun was blinding it, but <laughs> we're ready to add the cheese. It looks good in there. All the potatoes are nice and mushy now. Let's we'll get some uh, sharp white cheddar. That in. A little bit of garlic salt too. Yes, I made way too much. What I should have done is I should have made about half that potato. Save the other half for breakfast or something. Now, now I'm looking back at it, I wish I did, but. I'll be for breakfast tomorrow. Oh well. Stir it in. Cheese a couple of minutes to melt. We'll have a dinner. Very filling dinner. So, I'm pairing this up with some IVC root beer. Really cold IBC rupia, right up against the side of my fridge. Surprisingly, it's not frozen. I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, you stay quiet. That's good. All right, let's see how this came out. Mm. Mm. This was good. So I'm going to come up with a name for this recipe, but I think we're on to something here. All right, I'm going to eat my dinner, and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So it's been a busy day today, getting up in uh, Bear Brook and <laughs> driving all the way over to uh, Musumalu, stopping at uh, Texas Falls and realizing that the self-service is just too weak there for me to stay there. So yeah, like I said, I had to get some work done today, and I did that while I was here. Pulled up my laptop, used my internet connection. That worked out well. So this was the place to be, I guess. 
<laughs> finishing my trip from a month ago when I came up here and had to leave early. So I'm getting my uh, second day in tomorrow. It would have been nice if I could have been here for a full three days, but work interfered and changed my plans on me. But that's okay. I needed the money. I still need the money. <laughs> Pretty badly, too, I might add. Uh, but anyway, so... I, I had commented earlier in the video that I needed an extra tank of propane. Hopefully I won't need it, but just in case. The reason why is actually a pretty simple one. My, uh, my furnace died. <laughs> uh, so, so the one that runs on the big propane tank and has the exhaust outside and everything else. It looks like the igniter board failed. It had been flaky for a while, hit or miss if it was going to run or not. And now it's pretty much just stopped working. Right now, not a big deal. It's 59 degrees outside, but it's 74 inside the van right at the moment. Uh, but a lot of that's because I was driving today. And when you drive, the whole exhaust system and everything else heats up and just warms the interior of the van up. Tomorrow, it's probably going to be a bit chillier in the van. And... I also have pizza on the menu, so I'm thinking I might actually try to cook that on the campfire. I don't know yet, rather than the oven. But, I brought my trusty old portable buddy uh, heater along with me. And that takes uh, one of the 16-ounce uh, propane tanks as well. So if I'm trying to make pizza, trying to heat the van, I mean, I have had two tanks on me. I just felt a little more secure if I had a third one. So. Now I have three tanks. <laughs> Since I didn't make it over to the Walmart to buy a two-pack like I was thinking, oh, it would have given me four tanks, but three, three's plenty. I mean, like I said, it's not that cold. So, so I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do uh, tomorrow. I've got basically two, two really good options in front of me. One is to uh, hike up and go up to the uh, summit of uh, Mount Lusamalu. And the other option is to go down, down to the Falls of Lana. Now, I've been to the Falls of Lana before, but it was pre-YouTube. I'd love to show you guys the Falls of Lana and talk about the uh, big pipe and everything that's in there. And um, so that's a possibility. The, right now, that's the direction I'm leaning towards, because from what I've seen from Mount Musabalu for pictures online, it's just a few good... Uh, openings in the trees to view from the summit so there really isn't a huge huge view to see up there but the colors in the trees are actually already starting to pop out a bit probably because of the dry weather and that so you might see a little color up there at least but right now though the other thing if i go to the falls of lana there's a campground down there you've got branbury state park down that way and uh, lake dunmore and that and I could shoot another uh, campground tour video for you guys. I know, <laughs> I know they're popular. I know the campground tour videos are a popular thing, so uh, I could actually shoot another campground tour video, and I don't even have to stay at the campground to do it. <laughs> so I could just hike down there, shoot the tour video, and then uh, hike back. See the Falls of Lana. Maybe see Silver Lake. I don't know. That's another hike in and of itself, but love to see that one too. It's another place to go. I wish I had uh, my full two days, but hey, I'm going to have to come back next year. Another thing I've got to work on for next year, I need Starlink. Because I I want to go to some of these places like the uh, Texas Falls and those kinds of areas where there's no cell phone service available. I'd still like to be able to get my work done. Unfortunately, I'm self-employed. Um, <laughs> I'm not really uh, making uh, making my living doing these YouTube videos. I wish I was. I'm getting closer to monetization, though. I'm, as, as of this video, I've got 932 subscribers. So, a little bit closer. I mean, less than 70 subscribers, and I can start monetizing this channel, which means I can spend more time doing these adventures. So, <laughs> so, uh, so that's, a, that's an important aspect for me, is uh, the, the more money I make from the YouTube channel, the more of this stuff I can bring to you guys. And uh, the more content, the more interesting places I can go, too. But, if I can get Starlink, and the hard part 
isn't the uh, cost of the service because they have a service plan that's only fifty dollars a month. Yes, it's only fifty gigabytes of data, but that's probably sufficient for what I need for a month. I could probably work on that with uh, some cell phone service for when it's available. I probably won't need to carry all three carriers anymore like I'm doing now. I can scale it back to just one again and just supplement it when I need it with the uh, Starlink. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. The hard part is the uh, $600 upfront cost for the hardware. That's the challenge. I haven't figured that one out yet. <laughs> uh, fun being broke, but... Hey, it's the it's the, the the path I've chosen overall though because I wanted to be able to take these trips. If I can get it to the point though where these trips can pay for themselves. If you want to help towards that goal, make sure you hit that like button below. <laughs> it actually does help. Uh, I also have the memberships too, if you want to see some bonus content and that I don't talk about it too much on here, but I do have it. Uh it's only four ninety nine a month. You get to see uh, outtakes, deleted scenes, that sort of stuff. I really haven't posted much there yet because I don't have... Well, I actually have one <laughs> one subscriber right now for the memberships. But but uh, but we're, we're creating some content. we got uh, deleted scenes and that up there now that you can come in and see. And we'll be putting some more stuff on there. Anyway, I think we've reached the end of this adventure for today. We'll pick it up again in the morning. In the meantime, though, remember, slow down, enjoy life, and always be kind. Got some interesting stuff coming up at the end of this trip, so stay tuned. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.